Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to have a discussion with you guys about the Ten Tails or what the ultimate fate of the Ten Tails is going to be in the Boruto series. So in case you don't know, a Ten Tails was introduced in, I think if I remember correctly, it was chapter 36 or 37 of the Boruto manga where we saw Sasuke enter, the, uh, dim enter this dimension and there he saw that there was a Ten Tails being kept there by the leader of Kara Jigen, whom we later find out is actually Ishiki Otsutsuki. And then later we find out that Ishiki Otsutsuki is the other Otsutsuki that came to Earth with Kaguya. And it seems like this is the Ten Tails that they were initially going to plant on Earth and then use it to harvest the chakra fruit. But as we know, there already was a divine tree already there by the time they got there on on earth although who planted that one we still don't know but anyway i wanted to just talk to you guys about the possible outcomes of the ten tails and i want to start with this one and i have to admit this is the one that i actually hope that doesn't happen but at the same time i acknowledge it's probably the most likely to happen and I'm talking about the Ten Tails ultimately being planted on Earth and then we have a new divine tree growing and then it's all, it already starts to harvest the chakra from the Earth. Now the reason why I do not want this to happen is because if they do go down this route it'll just be a repeat of what already happened in the fourth grade ninja war. Now a lot of people I've seen speculate that this is probably what does end up happening because in that flash forward where we see the leaf village destroyed and we see Kawaki and Boruto fighting a lot of people I've seen speculate that that's probably what already happened and that's why the world is so in, in, in chaos because the divine tree has already been planted and people have probably started uh, going have probably started panicking because they think oh no we have another divine tree and we're all dead Again, that's just speculation. We don't know if that's indeed what's going to happen. But like I said, I really hope that that's not the case because I don't want them to just repeat what was already done in the fourth grade ninja war of the Naruto series. So another scenario that I could see happening, and this is one that in my opinion wouldn't really make a lot of sense. And I'm talking about them just leaving the Ten Tails alone. Just leaving, leaving it alone in whatever dimension it's in and just not bothering with it at all. Because if they do end up dealing with Code, and if Ada and Daemon end up becoming a problem, they deal with them. So basically, Kara will be completely dismantled. It'll be completely taken care of, just like the Akatsuki. And because of that, there's no one to bring the Tentils to this dimension and then planting it on the Earth and growing the Shinju. So they think, okay, since there's no one on Earth who really has access to space-time ninjutsu, or at least no one who's bad and that way they could just leave it alone and not have to worry about it now the reason why i don't want this to happen is because it wouldn't really make a lot of sense so we saw in the boruto anime and i think this was talked about a little bit in the boruto novels i can't remember which one where they talk about how there are people out there in the world who actually like the infinite tsukuyomi and thought that that was the ultimate solution and they basically agreed with madara so if they end up finding out that there's a way to do that again, then they're going to concoct a plan to try to get to that dimension and try to bring the Ten Tails over here. They might struggle with it, but it's possible someday in the future they could do this, and they're basically going to put people in the, of the world at risk again. And I feel like the leaders of the world, the Five Kage, and probably the, uh, uh, the feudal lords, are probably not going to want that because even the possibility of the Ten Tails being a threat is too much for them. So they think, okay, well, we need to take care of this now. That's why I don't want this to happen because it wouldn't really make a lot of sense. Do you, do you see what I mean? So there's one more thing that could happen with the Ten Tails. And the thing that could happen, and I, if I'm being honest, I see this as probably having the lowest possibility of actually coming true. And I'm talking about the someone or two people becoming the Ten Tails Jinchuriki. So what I mean is, instead of having the Ten Tails there, they decide to do what Hagromo Otsutsuki do and basically seal it inside of them, or at the very least take its power 
and seal it inside of them and the husk gets trapped in a Chibaku Tensei just like what Hagoromo did with the Ten Tails originally. He trapped its power in him and its empty husk was trapped inside the, uh, the moon. So if this were to happen, we have to talk about who would end up becoming the, uh, the Jinchuriki of the Ten Tails or its power. So we can't have Boruto and Kawaki, and I'll explain why, because Boruto and Kawaki already have power inside of them. Boruto, on one hand, even less likely because he already has the soul of Momoshiki inside of him, and he already has to wrestle with that, and that's only if they don't find a way to take care of him, find some way to remove him from uh, Boruto so that Boruto doesn't have the threat of Momoshiki taking over. And with Kawaki, the reason why I don't think it would make sense for him is because Kawaki already has a lot of power in him. So if you remember, in one of the latest chapters of the Boruto manga, Amido explained to Kawaki that Kawaki is still a vessel for Ishiki. Not Ishiki's soul, but he is a vessel for Ishiki's power. And as we've seen, Ishiki had a lot, and I mean a lot of power. So if Kawaki were to take the Ten Tails' power and add it onto him, I feel like it wouldn't be a good idea because there's a chance it could, his, there's a chance his body wouldn't be able to contain all of that. Like his body's already struggling with, because of the modifications that Amuro made. Remember, Bor Kawaki needs constant maintenance in order to be able to keep fr from breaking down. So if he were to give add more problems onto him, like taking a ton of power from the tentails and then sealing it inside of him, it would just make things even more difficult for him. And then imagine what happens if he dies, then all that power gets released. And then that power becomes a problem. So the other two, and this is, I, again, I don't know if this is really going to happen because it has to depend on a few things. The only two that I can see the, see being optimal candidates are Naruto and Sasuke. Now again, the reason why I don't really see that happening is because it would depend on whether or not they're even alive by the end of the series. Because a lot of people have been speculating that maybe Naruto and Sasuke are already dead. Because Kawaki had that thing where he said, I'm going to send you where I sent the 7th to, uh, to Boruto. A lot of people are speculating that maybe he killed him. And they're speculating that Sasuke may be dead because Boruto is seen wearing a cape a lot like Sasuke. And he even has Sasuke's sword. So they're wondering, okay, well, what happened? Did, did Sasuke die? We don't know. So, again, it would depend on whether or not they're alive. And also, they kind of already have experience utilizing the, the Tailed Beast Chakra. As we saw Sasuke at the, uh, at the, in, their, uh, in the fight with Naruto at the Valley of the End. At the end of at the end of the series, where he was able to absorb chakra from the tail beast and use the Susano as the receiving vessel, I don't see why he wouldn't be able to also do the same thing with at least half of the Ten Tails' power, not all of it. And that's another thing I see happening is Naruto and Sasuke choosing to split the power between the two, and then both of them uh, basically sealing away the Ten Tails' body whether it's in a Chibaku Tensei or just choosing to leave it here now devoid of power it won't be able to really pose that much of a threat to the shinobi world again doing basically what Hagoromo did and then maybe uh, towards the end they could also do what Hagoromo did where because they know that eventually they might die then the, all that power gets released so they could basically do what Hagoromo did and just split the chakra between uh, you know, between like separate uh, entities using the creation of all things abilities. Now, whether or not they would have access to that ability, we don't know because we don't know if creation of all things is an ability that's exclusive to Hagoromo or if it's an ability that anyone attaining six baths chakra could do. Uh, we, we don't, we, the truth is we honestly don't know. We know it, us it utilizes yin and yang energy. So if you have that, I think you might be able to uh, actually perform that ability so with that being said guys those are just my thoughts on what i think might happen to the ten tails i want to know your thoughts what do you think is ultimately going to happen with the ten tails do you think that they're going to repeat what was already done in the fourth grade ninja war where they plant the ten tails grow the divine tree and then cast the infinite tsukiyomi again or do you think that it's going to get split between two people and both of them using it to basically keep the power in check and just leave or do you think they're just going to leave it alone in the dimension 
Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you want more discussions like this, let me know about it in the comment section down below and what it is you want me to talk about and just give you guys my thoughts on. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, subscribe. Bye for now.